All right, welcome back. This is the uh, final section uh, of Mr. B's Tech Corner uh, in regard to iTunes and your iTunes library and how it controls other devices like iPads, iPods, shuffles, iPhones, and things of that nature. Uh, if you have seen our earlier videos, we talked about controlling the content on your iPad, uh, managing the device itself, and updating the iOS. So let's go ahead and jump back into iTunes, and you can see there that I have uh, Do EdTech. This is an iPad. Uh, this iPad has 57.18 gigabyte capacity uh, at the moment, and you can see that I only have one device plugged in. Now I told you earlier that you could manage more than one device from a single iTunes library. So what I'll do is go ahead and plug in an iPod. Now every instructional leader uh, has been issued one iPad and one iPod. Uh, within their bag of goodies, so to speak, uh, from the district. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Now it says there's a new uh, software version available. I am going to download that and update my devices, but not right now, not during this video. Okay, so if you're at this screen and it's asking you if you want to register later or continue, I'm just going to go ahead and say register later. It's not going to hurt anything. And now I'm back at that summary page. Now, just to kind of point some things out to you here, you can see that whenever I click on the DO EdTech, it has a picture of an iPad and the word iPad along with the name of that device. And if I click on LYSD, you can see that's an iPod. It's got a picture of an iPod and it tells me the capacity. Now everything else is going to be uh, essentially the same. So if I click on Apps, you can see that this particular iPod, there we go. Are you sure you want to sync apps? Now, the truth is, I've used this iPod on my library before, but because I, uh, because I have re-imaged my computer, it's basically seeing it as a new library, so that's okay. And I'll say go ahead and sync apps, and then I'm going to choose specific apps that I want. So being this an iPod, maybe I'm going to use this one for students, so I'll click on Brain Pop, Botanica Kids, Kim Lab, Coaster Physics. You can see that there are several educational apps here. Uh, if you need a, a list of those educational apps, uh, see my blog in Mr. B's Tech Corner inside the SMT, or you can go to Mr. B, um, uh, Mr. B's Tech Corner .blogspot.com, or look in the signature of any email you get from me uh, inside of First Class. Okay, so I'll just click on a couple of these, no big deal. Uh, one thing that I do want to point out, though, um, if you are an instructional leader uh, inside the Lower Yukon School District, you definitely want to make sure that you download. PD360. PD360 is going to be uh, the tool, the evaluation tool uh, that you will use for uh, your teachers at your site. Uh, so the reason for these mobile devices uh, in the context of the instructional leader in Lower Yukon School District is to use this app to, um, to evaluate your teaching team and uh, suggest uh, possible improvements to their classroom management and things of that nature. Uh, via the online browser version of PD360. Okay, so when I'm ready, I'm just going to go through and click on music and maybe see a few things there. Maybe iTunes U, maybe some podcasts. Uh, if I was teaching uh, in high school, I might want to. I might want to have my students learn Spanish, so I can click on a couple of those there, and then I'll hit apply give it a few seconds here and it says iTunes found purchased items on the iPod LYST that are not present in your library do you want to transfer these items now what that means is it's gonna pull the apps or the files that are on the iPod itself and put them into my iTunes library now I own all the content on the iPod and in the library so it wouldn't hurt me to go ahead and transfer I'm not really sure what's on there that I would need but that's gonna sync and syncing is is uh, multi-directional so syncing means up and down syncing means that it's going to put content from the iPad or the iPod into my library and it also means that I'm going to put things from my library to uh, my iPod okay it says you can help improve Apple products I'm just gonna say no thanks don't show me again and you can see that there are uh, steps and a taskbar here at the top of my iTunes library and it's removing some things and adding some things on step four or five. If you have any questions, please contact me, Sam Bourgeois. Uh, you can see my email on my blog, and I look forward to helping.